thank Coach Shaw for giving me the opportunity to coach, and I wish them the best. How difficult is it going to be to round up this one more game to play? It's not going to be easy. No, definitely. I think, uh, you know, you got to rally the troops. Uh, I think I bring the respect that the guys in the locker room will, will respond to. And uh, I look forward to, to meeting with them in the morning and, and, and getting this thing going. Seems like there are other duties that you have to do, like the administrative stuff. Is that going to be taxing, especially with your role in so much of the um, offense? Well, definitely. I know it's a transitional period, but uh, my job is football, and I need to, you know, right now I need to actually get back in and start, you know, game planning and get ready for UNLV. It's a tough opponent we're facing this week. Air Force, is it? Forget about it. Move on. Definitely, you got to bury that thing right now. You know, uh, we're transitioning right now. Um, the AD has a big job. Uh, he's gonna be looking for a next head coach. Uh, I'm here to try to help. Uh, you know, finish these four games. You know, these are four winnable games. Uh, I think uh, you know. We just need to finish strong. You know, I know guys want to jump off the ship, but I'm, I'm not going to pull it. I'm going to, um, you know, ask guys to work hard, and if they don't, they can get the hell out. Chris, would you consider this at all a, an audition for the, for the permanent job? No, I'm just looking. You know, I'm just looking to transition and, and help this this school and this university to the best it could be. You know, I have a newfound respect for the university at coaching here for the last three years, and uh, I just want to leave it in a better place than I found it. And if this is it, then you know, so be it. Would you apply for the job? No, nah, you know, I'm just, I'm just here. I'm going to coach. Uh, I'm going to work hard. Uh, I expect the most out of the coaches uh, that are here, um, the players. Uh, I know they, I'm going to ask and demand a lot from them in the next four weeks, and uh, let's see where the chips lay, uh, lie at the end. As far as on the field, obviously you can't make a ton of changes because you guys have implemented all the offensive stuff. Is there are there any like small changes you plan on making? For this I season? think I think you you, you have to ch change is necessary. I think you know maybe it's practice. Maybe we change practice a different way. Uh, maybe the tempo has to be picked up a little more. Uh, at the end of the day, guys have to work, and if they don't want to work, they got to get out because that there's only one way to win games. It's, it's hard work. Have you met with players, captains, or anything yet? No, I haven't talked to anybody today. I've uh, been pretty busy. I've uh, been down here uh, meeting with uh, Dave Madeline and uh, the rest of the group down here. I uh, had a quick meeting with the coaches. Uh, we sat down with them for a little bit. And, uh, you know, we have another meeting coming up with the coaches. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to sit down with each and every one of them because I know it's a tough situation for everybody as far as coaches, you know, because you got families involved. You know, it's a, a point in moving on as part of the job. And I think guys understand it, but, you know, we need to finish this, these four games and finish the stretch. Will you be leaning on Tom Mason quite a bit since he's done this kind of gig recently? Definitely. I'll be leaning on all the guys, you know. I'm, I want everybody to carry the load, you know. At the end of the day, I, I hope everybody, you know, pull, pulls together and, and helps me out and, and tries to finish this thing strong. Chris, not only led team, what's the attitude that you want to implement into your squad? I told you, man, I ain't going to put up with and you know, you either in or you out. And you know, I, I've, I've been in the league for 12 years. You know, I played for some great coaches along my way from college, from Bill McCartney. You know, I played for Tom Coughlin, Mike Dicka, and I, uh, Jack Del Rio. And I think I got some good coaches that, you know, I associated myself with along the way. What kind of advice did Chow give you? Or did he give you any advice after the job today? You know, it was real quick. You know, he wished me the best, you know, and, uh, and you know, it's, it's, we're just moving forward. You look at your career path, man, going from playing in the NFL, coaching, now you're the head coach of the Division One program. Do you get to sit back at all and think like, oh, I'm humbled, I'm head coach of the Division Not really, man. We need to get to work right now. You know, <laughs> it's hard coming down here because I know, you know, the, it's quick. You know, it's, it's a turnaround. It's quick. There's a lot of things that are flying right now. And just trying to get on board and capture the thing. But the main thing is, is to start game planning and get ready for these guys. Who's your key person as far as uh, organizing for the travel and all that? Because the first game being a road game, that there's a lot involved in that. Well, the, it, it, everything's staying the same. Nothing's changes. No, no, um, nobody has moved around. It's the same guys. Uh, it's just a matter of coming up with a, you know, different, you know, maybe it's a different schedule or, or move things around that the guys are not used to and not accustomed to. Something has to change, right? The last, you know, four years haven't worked. So let's, you know, try a little something different. I mean, is there a key administrative person who does logistics and you have to work closely with? That guy is Brad Jones. Brad Jones Brad is the director Jones. of football okay. ops. But, I mean, do you have a number two guy, or I mean, who's your guy? You know, like, hey, I'm young at this game, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna lean and listen to everybody. You know, I don't, you know, I listen. I always, you can always get better. You always gotta listen to keep the ear open. Uh, you know, I just, I just hope at the end of the day, nobody quits and everybody puts their best foot forward and try to make this thing possible for us. Are you involved in uh, personnel decisions, like picking a quarterback or things like that? Will you be changing there? Or? Definitely, I'm the head coach right now. So I'm going to make those decisions as I, f I feel best for this team and, and moving forward as far as, you know, from everything from captains to, to what I feel needs to change on this team to make us better. You had a really difficult job already coaching offensive line that requires all your attention. How do you split that up now with coaching those guys and 
doing what you have to do as head coach? Well, I know I brought a good GA in and uh, he's gonna put it to the test now. You know, I think he's very capable. Um, he's, you know, he's been coaching with me, you know, this, this part of the season and he's done a good job and I'm, I'm gonna expect the, the most out of him. And it's an opportunity for young guys, you know, make a stamp on your coaching career. Unless somebody's Ramson, go passion. What's your background on him? How, how did you meet him? Um, he applied. We're looking for a, a GA. You know, Donovan Raiola was my guy last year, so you know I was blessed to get this guy this year. And uh, you know, he's nothing but the best so far. Did you have any history with him or any of his coaches? Not at all. Once you have a chance to meet with the players tomorrow, how, how hard of a challenge you anticipated being keeping these guys focused despite everything that's going on? Uh, you know, I'm just kind of dry. I'm just gonna tell them like it is. You either in or you out. There's a damn door right there. Don't let it hit on hit you on the way out. You know. It's as simple as that. You're either on or you're off. You guys are auditioning for the next guy. It's basically what you're doing. You want to finish strong. You want to go into the uh, spring ball feeling good about yourself and even moving forward into the next season. You know, you want to feel good and confident about yourself because, hey, jobs are on the line. Coach, how are you going to evaluate the commitment of your players uh, when you talk about if you're in or you're out? It's pretty simple, man. I'm looking them in the eye because you can pierce the soul just looking into the eye.